Hey, what's going on guys, Darius here, and welcome to a new beginner Photoshop manipulation tutorial thingy. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded any videos recently, it's because uh, I am really busy, I am looking for a new apartment to go in with my girlfriend, and uh, it's kind of hectic, and I am also searching for a job, um, a part-time job, so I can... Uh, you know, like work four hours a day and still get some money, but still have time for, uh, my true passion, which is art and, uh, YouTubing, of course. Um, and in this tutorial today, uh, we're going to be learning how to do these kind of things that you're seeing right now in the background, uh, which are these glowing, uh, animal fur thingy. Um, we're going to be learning how to do this and it's, uh, it's not, that complicated it's actually really easy uh i i saw a lot of wallpapers uh with this kind of uh technique and i was trying to replicate it in photoshop by smudging and stuff like that and using some uh, glow effect filter thingies that uh that are default into photoshop glowing edges um but it didn't work so i had to google a bit and i found uh what was causing this what what software people were using to uh, make this. And it's actually a plugin inside of Photoshop. Uh, well, you, you actually have to buy it or uh, download a trial version of it. Um, but uh, yeah, it works. So let's hop into Photoshop and uh, let's see how this thing works. So there's a filter uh, that does this and it's called Fractalius from uh, Redfield. I'm going to post a link in the description so you can download the demo uh, or buy the uh, filter. Now I am a filter junkie. I have a lot of filters. Um, right now you're not seeing much uh, because I recently reinstalled Photoshop, but I, I have like a lot of filters. I, I'm just addicted to it. I have to have every single filter I can get my hands on. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, let's hop into Fractalius and see how it goes. So I have this um, stock image of the lion and I'm going to, to just start Fractalius. So right off the bat you're in Fractalius and uh, this picture right here in the preview is not much. Uh, which here are a bunch a bunch of presets that you can uh, use and the preset that is interesting that we want to use is glow 100 and you click on glow 100 and uh, check that out uh, the lines already starts to have that effect um, on the on his mantle and stuff like that and face um, uh, wait wait I forgot something before you do that make sure to make a copy of uh, your uh, lion image on top on a new layer so uh, we have a backup copy in case we mess up you know um, so filter let me just go into fractalius again uh, and then glow 100 so we need to edit a few things here uh, to make the line pop out you know um, to make it more interesting because right now there's just a bunch of glowing lines that sort of looks like a lion so the first thing that we're gonna do is lower the noise to zero, um, to zero zero. Now you can play with these settings uh, because it differs from animal to animal uh, and depends how many on how much fur the animal has. So uh, yeah, just make sure to play around with them until you find a uh, nice effect uh, for your animal. Um, then the Scarify, we're going to just increase this. So it's going to basically make it glow more, just like this. Um, and uh, we got Scarify on the left side and on the right side. On the left side, you're just gonna increase it just a little bit, not too much. There we go. So we're just gonna put some more detail out there. The depth, make sure to lower it just a little bit so we get a, bit, a little bit of detail from the background. Um, and the depth on the left side too. There we go. So we just get a bit more light, you know. Uh, the diffusion, let me see, let me see. Yeah, you can just increase the diffusion here and uh, maybe lower it here. Let me see. Mm, doesn't really do much uh, for the for the line. The radius, make sure to, de to, de blah. <laughs> to decrease the radius on the right side uh, so we can get more detail here. And uh, also on the left side, just a little bit. So it just sharpens the details. The line width, uh, if you don't like thick lines, you can just uh, lower it so it has more detailed lines. Uh, you can play around with the sharp with the, um, the sharpness and stuff like that. Uh, what's this line width? Uh, let me just let's see that it glows. I'm just gonna play around with the settings a bit. Mm. Probably you're gonna play with the depth. Let's see. If you if you if you set the depth to uh, the maximum, which is 74, it's going to darken um, all the areas that are not important. 
uh, inside of the picture and it's just going to leave the, some sort of outline, you know. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, play around a bit, scarify, maybe lower it a bit, and maybe higher, let's see. So it's just trial and error, you know. Uh, let me see. Yeah, noise make, makes it a bit more blurry, which is good. There we go. Maybe increase the... Oh no. There we go. Oh, there we go. The depth here really gives a lot of detail in. That's good. On the left side. There we go. Let's play around with the diffusion. Okay, that seems... That seems... Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> the saturation, you can increase it just a little bit, you know, just to give a bit more color. You can actually put it to the maximum. Uh, you can play around with the brightness, like if you want a brighter tiger, uh, lion, sorry, or not. I'm just going to increase it just a little bit. Okay, so uh, now I'm just going to uh, apply this filter to uh, the um, lion, and uh, yeah, we're going to, I'm going to see you guys in a bit because this is going to take a bit. All right, welcome back and check that out. That lion looks fantastic. Um, the problem is that when you when you do this, the eyes kind of you know like uh, you don't see the eyes anymore. Uh, and if you like this effect, and uh, if you don't want the eyes, then if you think it looks better without the eyes, then uh, good. That's 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 your preference. But um, even the wallpapers that I saw, and uh, you know the. Uh, where, where this effect was applied, I saw people leaving the eyes, and um, it's 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 pretty important that you leave the eyes because we're gonna make it look even cooler with the eyes. So just make a copy of uh, your image on top of the uh, image that we apply the filter to, and you're going to grab your eraser tool by pressing E, and you're going to start erasing everything but the eyes um, from the line. Let me just choose a bigger brush. Your brush size, just like this, soft brush. Uh, let me see, and just gradually decrease the size of the brush so you don't actually erase the eyes, you know, because we need those. So I'm just gonna erase here, like this. There we go. There we go. And just a little bit more here. Wow, I erased a little bit of the eye, that's not good. Just undo and redo okay it looks good um, we are going to change the color of the eyes now and to do that we're just going to make a new layer on top of uh, the eyes <laughs> the eye layer uh, let me see if I miss something yeah there's a little bit here that I haven't erased okay so this layer that you made on top of the eye on top of the eye layer um, you're going to put it on color, I think. Yeah, color or hue. Let me see. And you're going to grab a uh, small soft brush and just paint on the eyes of the lion like this. And it's going to change the color, for example, to whatever color you have selected. So, for example, I want blue or um, red. Uh, once you apply the color once, you can click on this lock transparent pixels. And you're going to be able to change the color um, of the eyes by just painting with another color inside. So like this, for example, see, now they're red. And it's pretty convenient. Um, and another thing you can do to make your um, your line even more spectacular is uh, make a new layer on top of everything um, and then grab your bucket tool and choose, for example, a color that you want. And uh, I'm gonna choose blue, like, blue in this case but it's blue <laughs> some light blue and you're going to put the layer on uh let me see was it hue yeah hue and check that out the line right now is uh is blue and it looks fantastic let me see if i put the red eyes and check that out that looks amazing it's a really really great effect um and it can lead to spectacular spectacular things um yeah, it just looks really great, and I thought you guys would be interested, you know, how people do this. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I think this is uh, the end of the tutorial. I mean, the, the end result is pretty nice. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, you can also change the color, for example, uh, instead of blue, let me try green. Green, for example, or uh, what's this, magenta, or... Yeah, it just, it just looks fantastic. It's a fantastic effect. 
Uh, let me try this one. Play around with the colors, you know? They're all red. I want to see red. Yeah, it looks pretty great. But I'm pretty fond of the blue right now, because uh, it looks really cool. So, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this uh, small tutorial, and uh, I will post the links in the description with uh, all the things that you need. Um, I will link you to some animal stocks that you can use to test uh, this effect yourself, and, you know, have fun with it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more. Welcome to the new subscribers, and, uh, yeah, see you guys in a bit.